Did you know that Gobo's original name was Blob? And did you know that these are the Chinese, Japanese, and the Korean fonts? You did? Great! So in this video, I'll be going through more obscure and awesome Scratch facts. So let's get into it. Scratch Ever thought why Scratch was called Scratch? Well, this has to do something with music. So, according to the Scratch Wiki, we took the name Scratch from the way that hip-hop disc jockeys scratch with music. They take pieces of music and then combine them together in unexpected and creative ways. So likewise within Scratch, you take different bits of codes, put them together and have made something new. When we talk about Scratch, we cannot forget the Scratch Cat, the mascot of Scratch. The default spread you see when you open a new project. So the Scratch Cat was drawn by Wing Yang, I don't know. And according to Scratch team member CB, the Scratch Cat is non-binary. Meaning that the cat doesn't identify it as strictly male or female in terms of gender. However, many users, even some Scratch team members use male pronouns for Scratch Cat. And these are some of the pics of the Scratch Cat. We got a Scratch Cat plush, a Lego version of the Scratch Cat, the old Scratch Cat, and one of the beta Bruh. Scratch Cat, the Scratch Cat Junior, and these are some of the Scratch Cat in books. And this one is skinny and tall, just like Pink Panther, I don't know. So now we are going to talk about Gobo. So Gobo is a sprite that comes with all installations of Scratch. Gobo was originally known as Blob, just Bruh. like I said in the intro. And it was named by the Scratch team member Natalie Rusk. And according to Natalie, she got the idea from the Gobo vegetable, also known as Burdock Root in English. On February 14, 2011, the Scratch team announced that Gobo was the 9 most common sprite used in projects uploaded to the Scratch website. It is unknown how commonly this sprite has been used more recently. So a modified version of Gobo called Alanzu is the mascot of Snap. So Snap is a modified version of Scratch. So Scratchers say that Snap stole Gobo but everything in Scratch is open source. And Gobo is sometimes identified as a fish. Bruh. Yes, a fish. And it has a tail sometimes and sometimes doesn't. And the biggest fact is, did you know that Gobo was originally going to be the main mascot for Scratch? Did you know the names for Gobo's friends are derived from the metric prefixes for the powers of 10? Pico means 10 to 12, Nano means 10 to 9, Giga means 109, Terra means 1012. And Pico is sometimes considered as a symbol of trickery. You know, because of the April Fool's Day prank of 2013. Did you know that Scratch existed before Scratch 1.0? Yes, the Scratch 14 Feb 4 version, created on February 14, 2004, was the first ever Scratch version. It wasn't released to the public until much after its creation. So the Scratch 14 Feb 4 is sometimes also called the Scratch 0 0.1. December 6, 2008, Luke Tech created the Scratch Programming Wiki, a normal wiki created by himself. No Scratch team involved. And you know what? That's the place I found most of this information. He advertised this wiki in different forums and many people helped contribute. And eventually, the Squatch team noticed the wiki. They liked it just like me and wanted to advertise it on the Squatch website. And on June 3, 2010, the Squatch wiki we all know now was created. Did you know that Squatch worked with Cartoon Network? Yes, Squatch worked with Cartoon Network to promote We Bear Bears by creating project tutorials and templates related to show. So thanks to the Wayback Machine, you could still see the Scratch plays on the Cartoon Network's official website. So Scratch loves playing pranks on April Fool's Day. Just look at all of these pranks. 
They even make these pants available on March 31st because of the time zone differences. So the scratch bank began on 2010 where they changed the forum text to still only 0.99 US dollars. On 2011, Scratch changed everyone's icon to this red face and there were many complaints because just look at it. And on April 1, several word sensors were added in the forums and on the main website. So every instance of Scratch team was changed to a bunch of fluffy kittens. And in the forum, if you type the word you, they change into Pikachu. So that's cool. And every instance, the word awesome in the comments made a unicorn appear when click. Or changes some text on a page to a pink, dazzling, sugar-coated style. And on 2010, yeah, My Little Pony. The Scratch forums were renamed to Nay forums. Members of the Scratch team were ranked Nay herd leader, while Scratchers were given the rank Pony. And new Scratchers, new Pony. Community moderators were changed to hold the rank Pasture Monitor and retired retired Pasture Monitor. And they added some word filters too. So every instance of Scratch was censored to name. And instead of Scratcher, they were censored into Pony and all of this stuff. And the word Kaj was censored to Disco. So fun fact, did you know the word Discord is banned on Scratch? So this is because of their kids friendly policy law, yeah, that thing. And on 2013 with the release of Scratch 2.0, most of the jokes were about Pico, one of the default sprites. So the images on the right side of the front page were all changed into Pico. And it was all about Pico, Pico, Pico. And if you type the word blue, it will show a picture of Pico's head. So these are all hidden scratch emojis. So if you don't know about scratch emojis, I made a whole video about it, so make sure to check it out. In 2018, Easter eggs were hidden throughout the scratch website. These included special responses when following queries were entered into the scratch search bar. So if you type upside down, all would appear upside down and all of this awesome stuff. And on 2019 also we got some search easter eggs and these are all those search easter eggs. And all the world's a stage caused the graphic effect, brightness, ghost and color to affect the whole editor. Including blocks palette, stage, backgrounds and sprite. So when the ghost effect was applied completely, the whole editor would disappear and the only thing left would be a blue background. So the blocks and buttons could still be dragged click and edited but they were all invisible and all the hat blocks in the editor turned into cat blocks and these were my favorite of all the pranks and I still use them and you could enable this function using scratch order so I made a whole video on that so make sure to check it out and on 2021 a secret lives link was added to the footage and I got some snaps of it thanks to the Wayback machine so i don't know about this but i found this while researching so in scratch in average a boys upload more projects while girls comment more so i don't know is it true or false but yeah i really rarely comment and i upload a lot of projects on the 2018 scratch day they previewed a piece of hardware called the scratch bit it is a small circle shaped device with four lights and a button and it has the features like the tilt sensor, light sensor, buttons and an accelerometer. It had a own set of blocks. The scratch bit was planned to release on 2019. What year is it? 2022. But it hasn't been released yet for unknown reason. Now I'm gonna talk about another piece of hardware. The Pico Boat, previously the Scratch Boat is a programmable boat with the light, sound sensor, etc. It has its own blocks, not like the Scratch Big, it was released. And this is programmable using the Scratch 1.4 and 2.0. But the problem is that this is discontinued with the release of Scratch 3.0. Two pieces of hardware, one not released yet, and one discontinued. 
Did you know that Yuhu reports Squatch Cat, the official account of Squat? So I never tried this, but yeah, the report button is there. So that's it for this video. So make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And see you with another awesome Squatch video.